uh, respectable uh, vice minister of health, uh, and also the uh, um, academician uh, uh, Michael Lai, as a very distinguished academician of Akira Masinika, and Chair Dr. Dito Yen, and President Dr. Yi Yang from uh, National Health Research Institute, a uh, distinguished guest uh, from abroad. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm very happy to be here today to welcome everyone on this uh, symposium. I'm sorry to bother you to come a little bit earlier because I have another engagement later. But I'm, uh, I, I'm more than glad to attend this uh, symposium and give uh, uh, several uh, opening remarks. And I would like to thank uh, all the uh, distinguished guests coming from afar to, to Taiwan to share with your knowledge and experience in uh, this uh, TV71 uh, uh, control. And 20 years ago, in 1998, there was a large outbreak of enterovirus A71 in Taiwan, resulting in five, 405 severe cases and 78 deaths. And the first paper was published by uh, Dr. Mato Ho. At that time, he was the chief of uh, uh, Division of Infectious Diseases in the National Health Research Institute. And Mongo is our good friend, uh, also an academician of Academia Syndica. And he published the paper in the Wingard Journal of Medicine, and it arose a lot of, uh, raised a lot of attention about this uh, Antivirus 71 uh, in uh, Asia as well as in the whole world. And up to uh, 1.4 million children suffered from the hand, foot, and mouse disease, and from Papagena, Papagena, and since then, the infection has occurred every uh, three to four years. And fortunately, our efforts in disease surveillance, clinical research, prevention strategies, and public policy have tremendously reduced the number of severe cases of EBA71 infection and mortality in Taiwan. And a lot of uh, outstanding scholars uh, domestically in Taiwan, they have contributed a lot to the uh, EV7, A71 uh, study, and the paper has been published in the Mingan Journal of Medicine, JAMA, and other, and then said, and other very important uh, medical journals. And more importantly, uh, these uh, papers have been uh, frequently, uh, very frequently cited, and contributed to this uh, uh, global control of EV71. So I think this, uh, this is what we always say that there are always uh, a shark, silver shark, silver lining of any crowd. Because although, we, unfortunately, we did have this uh, outbreak in 1998, but uh, through our very intensive R&D and also very intensive surveillance system, uh, we helped our Taiwan to control uh, this uh, outbreak. And more importantly, this uh, knowledge and experience has been shared by other countries. And today's uh, symposium will showcase these achievements. And I want to thank the uh, National Health Research Institute, NHRI, and our CDC for jointly organizing this event. And I'm also honored to see so many friends from overseas, including uh, the United States, Japan, Vietnam, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, and Cambodia. I want to sincerely thank you for coming to share your valuable research findings and insights with us. Since President Tsai Ing-wen and I came into office two years ago, our new southbound policy and other efforts have called for greater medical cooperation with your countries and others in our region. And I know that through our uh, collaboration with American Institute in Taiwan. There's a uh, GCTF, Global uh, Cooperation and uh, Training Forum. And we also have uh, a series of uh, uh, workshops uh, with, with regard to the uh, public health and, and the infectious disease control. And unfortunately, uh, we can invite uh, more than every workshop, we can invite more than 50 uh, experts from uh, more than 25 countries in this region have come together to share our knowledge and experience. And even that's an adaptive works. 
So I think this uh, Taiwan try uh, we try our best to contribute to the global health and through this uh, GCTF uh, uh, platform. And we are doing that because, as we all know, that infectious diseases have little respect for borders. As you will see during this uh, symposium, Taiwan has built up a wealth of experiences on research, technology, and technical know-how in dealing with the infectious diseases. And we are willing to share this with the world. No country can cope it alone in the battle against the infectious diseases. And bettering the global health care system is a responsibility that we all share. And I would like to share with you also that in our uh, new 5 plus to innovation-based industry development, we also consider that biomedicine is a very important area for us to develop uh, in uh, the future. So uh, under our uh, BTC uh, Biotech uh, Taiwan Committee uh, meeting uh, recently, uh, we found that uh, the oldest and uh, the new drug or new vaccine development are very important in Taiwan, and the Taiwan government uh, encourage all these kind of IMP and try to uh, cultivate uh, the startup company uh, who is um, responsible for the new drug and the uh, new vaccine development. And I know that as an uh, NHRI and other uh, corporation has uh, developed the EV71, A71 a vaccine, and I think that uh, we are looking forward to the success of this uh, vaccine development. And before I finish, I want to extend my gratitude to all the speakers and moderators and our frontline medical care professionals here. The discussions you are about to initiate uh, will be important for us in the future, and look forward to seeing more collaboration in the future and especially uh, there are so many outstanding scholars coming from uh, different countries. I think there's an uh, international collaboration with regard to EV70, EVA71, and as well as other uh, medical fields are highly encouraged. So we look forward to a more fruitful and successful uh, collaboration in the future. So thank you again uh, to uh, NHRI and CDC for making this event possible. And I hope the symposium will be a great success and all our distinguished guests from abroad will have a very pleasant uh, stay at Taipei and also uh, best wishes for your health and very success uh, in the future. Thank you very much. Take care.